Today we're going to make the specimen from the Liberty Live Shoein' at the Roadrunner Classic. We got Judge Brian Osborne, CJF from Paris, Texas, Paris, Kentucky, and he is picked what they call a concave front. It's hammer finished with a mass lock clip. It's 11 inches of 3 8 by 1, and it's hammer finished. No jigs, no fences, no nothing. And basically guys on the internet have been calling it the heater. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. All right, we're gonna center punch it. It's gonna be slightly off the, the toe so that we can make the mass lot there. And we're just gonna mark the outside heel. It is a right front with a mass lot clip. So we'll get that in the fire and get it going. All right, I got the center punch mark here. I'm just gonna come pull my hammer back towards the center punch mark. This starts to form my mass lock. And then I'm drawing and hemming, getting everything done at the same time. And then I'll make my heel. Now what I'll do, I'm gonna take my hammer and I'm gonna just start doing some seating on it. Try and stay as, as steep as possible. Straightening it out and just kind of seating in there. That's why they call it the heater. When you miss it, it knocks your teeth out. All right. You can see right here, I'm starting with my mass slot. I got a bunch of rough forging in there. I'll take one more heat and then go to the other side. Kind of flattening it out a little bit. And again, just kind of coming in here and drawing and scooping with my hammer. And then I'm kind of trying to make a nice parallel. You put nice heels on that. You really don't get a chance to revisit those, so you want to make sure you got nice heels on there. And I like to hold it across from my body like this, and then just come in here and focus on that lower ledge. It grows on the side that you're safe and so it likes to curl up so I just kind of come in and straighten it up every once in a while and just finish that off. Now I'll go to the other side. Just scooping with my down side of my hammer coming to the point. And sweeten it up a bit. Start your concaving.
I'll give me another heat and take a little bit more out of it. All right. Again, kind of tightening everything up towards the mass lock, and then just make a nice parallel all the way to the heel. Forge your nice heels on it. With enough material left over to finish that, that concave. To do this properly, my knuckles are literally lower than the face of the anvil. So my knuckles are lower, and I'm, not, I'm coming in at more of an angle so that it's a little bit steeper, because otherwise you just fight it growing real, real wide. I want to keep my section gathered up, and then I just definitely want to always come back here and revisit, making it a parallel. You can see I've got plenty of material for my mass a lot. And then I'll crack the toe. All right, so just kind of come in here and just get your last few free good licks at the toe. And then I'll crack it. What I'll do is I'm just going to come up here and re-establish my mass a lot and finish off my toe. Come back up here, re-establish my mass a lot, and then finish the smoothness of my branch and my toe. it up on the outside edge really nice and then I'm just going to come in here and just kind of set everything down again revisit that inside edge Alright, I'll do the outside and then the inside. The last good licks that you get to have on the, the heels is right now, so you might as well make those really nice because it's a hammer finish shoe. You want those to be nice. I'm going to hold it up in the toe and start at the heel and just start setting down and making a nice edge all the way around.
the shoe. Now go on to the other side. Tidying up my heels, trying to make them look as nice as possible. Come up here, kind of tighten up around the clip. do is draw the clip next we've got a tool that that made I, I've seen the guys in the team competitions use them it's got a nice slight arc to it and it's tapered slightly up and what we're gonna do is it allows us to cut down on that clip to where it doesn't got any drag down or pull down and it makes a nice tidy clip it comes in handy simple to make Just grab the, the top of it. Come in here and just kind of clean up these edges. The reason I like to draw my clip first is because now I have all the time that I'm making the shoe to really clean up that leading edge and really show the fact that I have a nice Massalot clip. I don't steal any material from the fullerin because the fullerin doesn't actually get torn down. Now, when I run my fuller in there, the fullerin will actually add to the corner of the shoe. blow out or push back from the fuller will increase that edge and make it nicer instead of having that fuller in there and getting some tear down when you draw the clip. Do the lateral branch.
line, that, line the heels up on the back half of the anvil and use the edge of the anvil as your toenail. Toenail, widest part, your heel nail. We will go to the medial side. Kind of come up here, clean up my medial branch with my hammer, just make the lines really nice. Line up the heels of my shoe with this edge of the anvil. Put my toenail, the medial, the lateral side, line up my nails. That automatically puts my medial toenail where it needs to be, where it won't be racked. some tips some tips for deep seating after the shoe is made when you drop your hammer you want to drop your hammer straight down when you're using the round side of your hammer if you come in with an angle you have to contend with this side of the hammer the straighter you keep your hammer the more deep seating you can do without having ricochets because as soon as you want to come in like this it wants to contend with the low side of the hammer so next, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run my edges on the medial and lateral and try and keep my hammer as straight up and down so that I don't have to contend with the side that's not on the shoe. So, I'll grab it by the heel, go from the heel now. And just really pay attention to going slow and letting the horn work as a die to make that radius be really nice. And the same for this side. Find the heel nail. 
Come over the top. Now. Just straight up and down with a hammer. Then back it up and just flatten it good. Come down and crispen up the anvil side, the ground surface side. And then pack my fuller in and make nice line, nice parallels. Do the other side, and we'll be done. A little bit of boxing. One more side to go. Grab it by the heel now. Grab it here at the heel nail and start forging. And you come in here and try and stay straight up and down. I do is kind of get a little bit of this toe deep seated. Got kind of wrinkled up and I just want to flatten that up a little bit. I don't like that wrinkle at the bottom. So I just kind of flatten that out. All right, we made this shoe. It's, it's one of those shoes that's never ending. When you fuller it, you wanna put some more concave in it. When you put some more concave in it, you wanna put some more shape in it. It just keeps going. But if you just kind of realize what you can and can't get done, you wanna put a little bit of those elements in everything. You wanna get your, your concaving surface, your fuller in, and your clip. You wanna have a, just a nice stout clip on there. And basically set up for some four hybrids. So I just want to thank our sponsors at Liberty for Liberty Live Shoeing and uh, hope you have some good success with it.